uh, this is going to delay this whole thing for voters. Uh, it, it's a relief in a way for Trump, but voters, I mean, is it all just baked in? Well, I think the extraordinary thing is that Donald Trump didn't need to turn up at the appeal hearing today, and he did because he's really treating it like a fundraiser. Let's not forget that after he was found guilty of 34 counts, felony counts, after the Stormy Daniels trial, uh, he raised $50 million. And we know that he's not raising great amounts of money at the moment. He needs the attention. Kamala is in debate prep, and out he pops uh, in a sort of... You know, what Donald Trump is really good at doing, which is getting attention for doing completely the opposite of what a regular person would do. And it's worked for him, and he's doing it again. Yeah, he showed up, he said he was going to take questions, didn't take questions, mm -hmm. and then spent most of the time uh, reciting the allegations against him, which is a baffling choice, mm -hmm. uh, attacking his lawyers, and also attacking the women who, uh, you know, accused him of all of these things. Listen. I never met the woman other than this picture, which could have been AI generated. I don't know. She wrote a book and she made a ridiculous story up. I did nothing with her. Never, never touched this woman. Well, I mean, can, can I just jump and say so what I absolutely love about that shot is the picture of on his lawyers' faces because they have no the idea side. what he's going to say next. Mm -hmm. And then he criticizes them at some point. He says, "Well, I'm disappointed in my legal team," and they're standing right behind him. It's astonishing behavior, and it's it's incredibly effective television. I was going to say it's must it's must watch TV. It's must watch television. Yeah, I, it's exactly what it is. I mean, it's every effective. Day. It's a okay. It is it is like a watching a train, train wreck, wreck mm -hmm. in a way because it, it's not leading to anything positive as far as I can tell. I mean, can you see something that's good that comes out of this for Trump other than what Joanna just pointed out, which I think is very legitimate, the, the attention, yeah. the, the, the maybe the money, I don't know how that's well, going to work I, out. I, I think Joanna is right in the sense that, you know, if you sort of go back to 2016, what we've learned, you know, and, and I don't think the media has learned this at all, is that Trump, you know, former President Trump, likes to be the center of attention, right? And he will do things to be that part of the center of attention so that the cable news is talking about it, so that maybe broadcast maybe talks about it for 30 to 45 seconds, but the real conversation going on with America are pocketbook issues that's not being addressed. So he's almost winning the conversation by, A, we're talking about the scandal of the day, not talking about the issues that matter, and B, you know, the issues that actually matter to the voters that they're thinking about in their subset of what's the most important issue to me. Trump's already having that conversation, and they've already sort of validated his position. I don't think that that's winning. And, you know, Bill Clinton made a speech at the Democratic Convention that I think would really hit the nail on the head. He said, the next time Trump speaks, don't count the lies, count the eyes. And Trump is all about I, 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 I. It's all about me. It's all about my agenda, the people who are against me. It's all about every, everybody, you know, everybody in the world is out to get me. And people are tired of that. We've had nine years of Donald Trump's I statements. It's time for the president of the United States to focus on us. It's time for the president to talk about the policy, talk about jobs and health care and housing and college education and talk about fixing our criminal justice system, talk about all these I things. Think, I mean, I something tells me, Brian, I don't think you'd necessarily disagree with that. I mean, that seems to me like basic politics. Like, you talk about the people, not about yourself. Oh, absolutely. And, and, and you know, But I also remind people, you know, this race is a jump ball. So whatever the mm -hmm. criticisms you have of, the, you know, the talk about eyes, it's a jump ball in the swing mm -hmm. states. It's within the margin of error in nearly all the swing states. So the talk about eyes is clearly working. The, the victimization of politics, where he's the victim of what's taking place, is clearly working. Don't discredit that. And while we're having this conversation about non-policy-related <laughs> issues that matter to the American people, somebody's going to the gas station and paying 40 percent more than what they paid four years ago. You know, somebody's yeah, buying I, 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 I have no idea what jump ball is. What is jump ball? When you say it's jump ball, what on earth does that mean? Within the margin of errors. Oh, okay. I, okay. I somewhat agree with you in that. And we'll have and, this conversation. And, and, that's, and a, that's a sports metaphor. Yeah. Yeah. Like a basketball. It's, it's fixed, right? It's, no, no, no. Yeah. That's okay. a jump shot. Oh, okay. A jump ball <laughs> is when you throw the ball in the air and right. they, like, tip it. I thought it was some okay. kind of sporting metaphor. In the break, in the break. Okay. So I, I agree with you that in 2016, when the Access Hollywood tapes came out, many of us thought that that would be determinative of Donald Trump's campaign, and it wasn't. And so I think even though I don't think it's a good strategy, I think what Donald Trump is doing is like, it didn't take me out then, so it's not gonna take me out now. And so that's why he continues to do it. But what I think everyone is missing in this moment is, 
We're talking about this because the sentencing was delayed. And Donald Trump has built this uh, uh, storyline that the, the system is against him, that they're so political. And instead of us talking about, you know, whether or not he should be doing it, we should be rallying and saying, like, I think he should have been sentenced. But the judge said, I don't want to, uh, the appearance of politics to be played in this. And so the system actually worked yet again for Donald Trump in ways that it didn't work but for the average can American. I, can I throw in, like, a... It's not it's it's not my uh, kind of counter opinion, but this is from Carl Rove, who, who kind of takes a bit of a different view of it, a different way of looking at what happened with the sentencing today. If he had gone forward with this, it would have, ironically enough, to serve the interest of Donald Trump. Uh, Donald Trump has risen in the polls. The more that people have reacted negatively to his treatment in the courtroom, he would have uh, potentially gone after Donald Trump. Uh, in his verdict and the reaction of the American people might have been wholly negative on it and uh, helped advance the cause of Donald Trump in the election. I, that's I mean, exactly that, that's, my point. That's, that's I'm agreeing, point. God help me, I'm agreeing with Carl Rove, <laughs> Dick Cheney and Carl Rove in one night. Right. Uh, you know, the early 2000s are back. Woo! I mean, but, <laughs> but that's what I mean, but is we, that like... Hell did freeze over, we've established exactly. that, so. But, but Donald, so this would have, if we would have sentenced, it would have played into Donald Trump's book. And instead of like letting him continue with this narrative that everyone is out to get him, the system actually said, we want to let the American people decide. Even if like, as a political person, I was like, I don't think that's the way it should have gone. But it did. But even you know when what? it went in his favor, what was fascinating was he suddenly started attacking his lawyers. He can't right with his yeah. lawyers there. It's because fascinating. Because he's got to attack somebody. Yeah, that was got to be the victim. I, I think, look, this is going to be a race yeah. that's going to be win or loss on the margins. And I do think that there is an effective message undercurring to what Trump is ultimately trying to say. And it's not just necessarily about the establishment or the legal system or the president or the vice president is after just him. There's about 40% of the country who believes they're also after them and their values and their culture and their way of life. And I, I don't think that should be dismissed. And many of those voters do look at Donald Trump as this mechanism Except to achieve some type of a restorative all, action for their plight.